This Crown Castle agreement is very important for T-Mobile. We already discussed this uh, a, a while back. This is actually about three to four weeks old. But this is a very critical uh, moment for T-Mobile in, in its networking moving forward. And they will need this type of densification. The reason we know they will is because they actually signed that agreement for the 35,000 small cells. That's more than what they initially signed for during LTE, just to put that into context. So if you guys see any small sales that are going up for T-Mobile that you may think are T-Mobile, that are labeled T-Mobile, send them in to my email. I'll review them, and then I'll, I'll also put those on the channel over time. Um, we just need to start tracking that down um, so, we can, so we can actually see, okay, the N41 CRAN are going up. That, that'll be very good to see. Um, there's already some out in the wild spotted in LA, in Miami, some N41 small cells. I'm anticipating a bunch of those N41 small cells to be around the uh, SoFi Stadium in, in California for the Super Bowl. And I'm sure yes, at yesterday's game against the 49ers, um, people that were in attendance got to make use of that N41 uh, C-RAN small cell. So again, send them all to the channel. Um, this is very, like I said, this is very important, a critical, um, very critical part of the networking that T-Mobile is going to undertake going into 5G, that type of densification again. I gave some thoughts yesterday briefly on Twitter about fixed wireless access. I do think in the future it's going to need dedicated capital as the demand and the usage grows. And that's just kind of where, where I'm at with that. Mike Seaver did acknowledge that at one of the conferences. He did say that if millimeter wave was needed, then they would fund dedicated capital towards that. And they would announce that plan when they will do so. So it's very interesting to see how they're, how they're going to make use of those small cells. Are they going to only use those small cells at the more busy venues, at the more busy streets? Or are we going to start seeing those small cells pop up in neighborhoods? I'm literally seeing Verizon put small cells at your front door. I haven't seen such activity yet from, from T-Mobile in any way, shape, or form. But maybe you guys will start sending them in to my email and we'll start seeing some of those small sales pop up in neighborhoods. Leave all your comments in the comment section down below. Let me know if you think that this is also a critical part of T-Mobile's networking. These small sales, Verizon and AT&T have been making use of them for a few years now. Um, LTE and then of course, Verizon, Verizon started shifting towards the LTE millimeter wave, uh, millimeter wave notes. So again, leave all your comments in the comment section down below. Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe. Follow the social media outlets for more updates and interactions. This is Tyrone with Tech Life. Thanks again for watching. See you in the next one. Peace.